everybody. I'm so excited. Today is a day we do this every year, a couple of times a year. Miss Hilda Thomason comes to visit us. This goes on 14 years we've been doing this together. Is that right? It's 14? crazy. It is crazy. It's all about the Georgia Mountain Fair. Well, it is. We have so many events all year long there, Sherry. Not just the Georgia Mountain Fair, but we... It's all the time. Every weekend, just about it, we got something going on, which is wonderful. It, it brings is. people to the mountains. And you know what it brings to the mountains? Dollars. Yes, it does. And we have talked for many, many years about if you start at the Florida line and you start looking at the billboards and you know you're headed to the Georgia Mountain Fair, you know you're going to stop and you're going to fuel your RV, you're going to fuel your pickup truck, you're going to fuel everything up, you're going to stop at the grocery stores, you're going to come and camp, and I can't believe your campsites are always full, aren't they? They are, and we just added... With a waiting list? Yes, with a waiting list. Yes, And we yes. added 18 new campsites last year, and we got them full, so the camping has been better since COVID than it's ever been, because everybody wanted to get outdoors, so we mm -hmm. have 218 campsites on the fairgrounds, and we have, have them standing in line on campsites, and I wish I had more, mm -hmm. till we could accommodate more people, and hopefully someday I'll add some more but it is a huge thing. It's a great place. It's the biggest tourism attraction in North Georgia. Yeah. They come and camp. They stay in hotels, cabins, cottages, bed and breakfasts, whatever. But they, it's a destination there, and they can come and enjoy all these events that we have there at the Music Hall and the Fairgrounds. And it's such a great venue. Mm -hmm. It is the coolest venue of all times. It's surrounded by Lake Chattooga. It's just beautiful. And you have artists who are world-renowned artists who say, we want to play here. Absolutely. We choose to play here. And they yeah. get on our stage, and I'm not bragging about Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds, but I'm proud. Mm -hmm. But they get on our stage and, and they say, this is the most greatest venue, and we just love this. This is our all-time favorite venue to mm -hmm. come to. Mm -hmm. So it makes me proud that they feel that way, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, and to get a seat there, all the seats are good. Yes, they yeah. are. We yeah. just uh, renovated the music hall and put all new seats in the music hall. We just got them put in in the last few weeks. So we have individual seats now instead of the benches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it is so beautiful. It makes the music hall look so much better. We just upgraded our sound system and did a huge uh, upgrade on that. And we had a show there. And you told me it was two hundred thousand dollars. We did two hundred thousand uh, dollar upgrade on the sound and lights. Wow. And we also got a humongous video screen now over the stage. Oh my god! That is just beautiful. We can put all kinds of things up there, and our sponsors, anybody that wants to sponsor, whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, the project for the new seats was like a million dollars to do that. Uh, we raised some money uh, uh, for you know car shows. Car, shows, car shows, and yeah. that's been a big help to us and of course we paid some of it down but we had to finance some of it too but the Georgia Mountain Fair is a nonprofit organization we're a 501c3 so we just have to do a little bit as we can because mm -hmm. we we uh, were not for profit, and it's some things that needed to be done for some time. And I'm so thankful we got to do it. Yes. You know what I remember most about the Georgia Mountain Fair? What's that? The year you got air conditioning. Yes. Lord have mercy. I was so happy. I was talking to a man this past weekend. <laughs> we had so a happy. fundraiser there for the sh the sheriff's auxiliary. Had a fundraiser for the sheriff's department uh, to buy some technology for the uh, police cars. But this guy was talking backstage to me. He said, "I can remember Hilda when you didn't have air conditioning mm -hmm. here." Mm -hmm. and how hot it was uh -huh. and he says I don't think people would come now if you didn't have air conditioning. Oh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I said everybody you know expects it where you go now yeah, yeah, but it yeah. has been a blessing to have that heat and yeah. air because I can have concerts all year long mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Well we are a bit spoiled. We just, are. Just a tiny bit. Yes we and, are. Uh, now that you have the air conditioning. Now I'm looking at the rundown for what y'all are going to have for the fair. For the fair Tell me what the rundown's going to well, be. Well, on opening day, we have Lori Morgan coming. This is the mm -hmm. brochure on the fair right there. Okay. The fair's August the 19th through the 27th. And okay. we have Lori Morgan. We have got Mark Chestnut and Tracy Bird, Neil McCoy. Uh, we got Mike Snyder coming back again, John Anderson. And this is something new we haven't tried before. This is a oldie show, but I think it'll go over. It's called The Diamond Ring and The Devil Tour. It's uh, Gary Lewis and the Playboys and Mitch Ryder. Mm -hmm. So I think mm -hmm. people's going to really enjoy mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have The Million Dollar Reunion coming back. This is a show out of Las Vegas. It's a tribute show. Mm -hmm. It's got Elvis and it's got Jerry. Uh, Lee, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, I guess, or Reed. I forget Jerry which. Lee Lewis. Lewis, yeah. yeah, yeah I've yeah, yeah, got yeah. my Jerry Jerry's Lewis. mixed up. Yeah, yeah. And Carl Parkins. It's got some really good, uh, it's a tribute band, like I said, and they were there last year and people just loved it. So mm -hmm. then we have a bluegrass day with um, Lonesome River Band and the Quaby Sisters and Terry Balkum and Dukes of Drive. That's on Thursday, August the 25th. And then we have a gospel day. That's on Sunday. The Primities, the Inspirations, and the Troy Burns family. 
You know, so, talking about the inspirations, the inspirations are no longer the inspirations. The inspirations are the new inspirations, and everybody is loving those they guys. They are loving They them. are loving They them. are amazing. They really are. Yeah. They got a great following. Oh, so my gosh. I yeah. heard somebody talking about that the other day that they really like the new ones. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going over really well. But we're going to open the carnival on the 18th of August at 4 o'clock. That's the day before the fair actually starts. So mm -hmm. it's free admission. You just have to pay for the rides. And then we've changed our beauty pageant this year. We're going to have it on the 18th instead of having it after the fair starts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to have it on at 7 p.m. We've got 10 contestants right now <clears throat> for the pageant. So it's going to be a really good pageant. So we want people to come out and see the pageant and enjoy the carnival uh, before the fair actually opens. But we'll open the fair on August the 19th at 10 a.m. We've got all the arts and craft booths full. We've got the mm -hmm. Pioneer Village exhibits. We've got some new ground entertainment this year. Um, we've got the... An amazing mountain trout. Yes. Amazing mountain trout. The only sad story about that, we've had that for many, many years. Oh, no. But we ended up, it was going to cost us $100,000 to renovate the trout booth. So we ended up tearing the trout booth down because oh. we just couldn't, we didn't have the money to put into it. Mm -hmm. So there's getting to be so many food trucks that we put a bunch of food trucks in there and, oh, okay. and got it fixed up. So it's going to be really cool what we've done. I think people's going to enjoy it. You are going to miss the trout, that's yeah, for sure, and yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, but uh, we are going to try to <coughs> make some changes and do some different things. And it's a beautiful pl place there where the trout booth was at, but it just needed a lot of work done to mm -hmm, it. So. Mm -hmm. We did do okay, that. Okay, 71 years this fair has been this going on. This is 71 years, yes. Have we ever come up with a dollar value of what it's done for the state of Georgia? Oh my gosh, I don't have the dollar. 71 man. years. It's huge. It's what, huge. It's huge it's what huge. it's done. Yeah. And not yeah. only just the fair, but all year long what we do and bring in to the North Georgia mountains and it helps all the businesses mm -hmm, around mm -hmm. us and just really, really is a big tourism attraction for us. I can remember in the early days when you didn't have air conditioning and it was a destination of choice for all families. Everybody yes. said, we're going there. Yes. <clears throat> and I told you the story the first time we went, I looked at my husband and I said, we are never coming back to Hiawassee during fair season. You can't even drive in this town. <laughs> it was packed. Yes. <laughs> it was just full. Yes, it is. Packed. It is that way. And I try to be patient with the traffic and I try to encourage other people. It's because crazy. It, <laughs> it's crazy. It brings so much business into the county. <laughs> yeah. One little lady coming, she said, I can't even get to the post post office to get my mail <laughs> since you're going to have to do something about this traffic. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, but uh, we do have a great thing going there in our uh, town and our community and we're just so thankful for it. And you've done it 40 years? 41 years. 41 years. Yeah. I've been there a long time and it's been a wonderful ride. I've enjoyed it so much working with the fair and I love people and I love tourism and it's just a it's a job you don't mind getting up and going to <laughs> every day. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, I just ask you, we've talked a little bit about COVID did, one year you couldn't do the fair. Right, in 2020, we didn't get to have any events indoor. Right. We only thing we had that, we had one little craft show outside and we had uh, one little uh, uh, Appalachian Brew Q and Stew Festival outside mm -hmm. and that was it. We didn't get to have anything <laughs> indoors for a whole year, no concerts or anything. So that really, really hurt because sure. I mean, the camping was great. We had to shut down the campground for a month, but uh, everybody was wanting to get outdoors, so we were flooded with campers, but that's no entertainment. And so it right. definitely hurt us. It was hurting. Yeah. And think about the groups, because I know a lot of the gospel groups parked their buses and didn't go anywhere. Yeah, all of them yeah. did. They, was, yeah, was they were trying to do something over a video screen at a drive-in theater mm -hmm. or something. You know. They couldn't do anything. I mean, it was just no, no live concerts. So people were begging me to go back and start having concerts again. And when I did, it, we had to open the doors and let people buy tickets outside because it sold out immediately. Yeah. And it's yeah. still doing well because people love live music and they want to see the shows, you know. Let's look back on those that are gone. We've got, uh, you had George Jones there, you had Merle Haggard there numerous times. Con you, Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty. All these people that are gone, but what great memories you created for so oh many people. Oh my goodness, I'm yeah. telling you, it's amazing. I could just go on and on and on naming the ones that I miss so much because mm -hmm. we had them there several times over the years and, and it's hard to replace those people. Sure you just is. don't yeah. uh, you just don't have that to pick from anymore. Mm -hmm. Really genuine, great memories there for lots of people. I looked at the interviews I've done. Billy Joe Royal's gone, BJ Thomas is gone, Charlie Pride is gone, um, Percy Sledge. Percy Sledge. Oh my gosh. I know. When a man loves a woman, I know. he sang that to me. I you know. think about that. He sang it to me too. Oh we went to gosh. the hotel to pick him up and bring him over to the fairgrounds, yeah. and he sang it. It was just wonderful. Oh <laughs> yeah, I mean those guys are gone. They They're are. Gone. I know. So, yeah, and I think it's important that we keep their history alive and their their memory 
because they made the music that you're able to carry on today. It's just like this million dollar thing. They're doing the old music. They the are. The 80s music. Everybody's going back to the old music because that's what worked. That's right. It did work and it's something people still want to hear. So I'm glad to see that the real country music is still there with some of the groups that we bring in. I really, mm -hmm. I've got a band called Country River Band that's an opening act. They're going to be <laughs> opening for one of the, the shows. I don't remember which one it is, but they do true country music, I mean, like the Gene Watson or, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. George Jones or right. whatever. And it's yeah. just so good. I love it. I really do. And I think everybody does. We don't lose that love. No. We just carry it with us. Yes, so, that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. Now, we have to tell people, we're going to do trivia tonight and tomorrow night on Facebook because every year you bring me tickets to give away. Yes. And I tell y'all, I try to do them in multiples of four, so that way you and honey and then two kids or you and honey and two of your friends, four people get to go into the fair. That's $12 each admission, and that covers your parking. It covers, if you want to stay for two concerts that day, well, you can. Well, that's something new that we have changed this year, and I meant to mention that. Okay. The artists won't do two shows anymore. Okay. And they, so we had to go to one show. So we're doing one show at 7 o'clock. The fair mm -hmm. will still open at 10 o'clock in the morning, and through the week, the carnival will open at 4, and then on the weekends, it opens at 12 and 1 on Sunday. But uh, one show at 7 o'clock, and the gates will open at 6 there. But the admission, the $12 admission, includes all the shows shows if you want to come and see the show and then um, we uh, have one hard ticket during the fair and that's Mark Chestnut and Tracy Bird on August the 20th mm -hmm. so there is an extra charge for that but if you have a ticket for that concert then you don't have to pay to get into Arts and Crafts okay. and on that one day the Arts and Crafts will be five dollars if you don't want to go to the show. Okay. But so, that show's done sold over 2,000 tickets so I'd highly recommend wow. getting tickets oh, here yeah, soon. right now. You know the other thing about this is having the seven o'clock you can go work and then know that you can eat supper at the fairgrounds and see the concert Absolutely. that night. So if you can't go during the day because you have a job it's nice that people are working today. Isn't, isn't that it? the truth? Yeah. A lot of people aren't working today. A lot of people are sitting home getting a check, and that's a whole other story. That's right. We'll get mad, won't we? Because <laughs> you and I think alike. So. Oh. oh, on a lot of levels, we think alike. <laughs> but, um, but it is going to work out. That'll be cool because it families will. can work and then go to the fair yeah. at night. And yeah. I had a hard decision trying to f figure out what time would be best to do this one show mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. like at 2 o'clock show, a lot of the senior adults would come and exactly. a lot of the busters would come. Mm -hmm. They couldn't maybe go back across the mountain after dark or whatever. So I think if you come to the fair, like if you want to come earlier during the day and enjoy the crafts and all the exhibits, and, and I added another I've got $5,000 worth of entertainment out on the ground, so mm -hmm. we really added to our budget to have more musicians playing mm -hmm. on the porches and the gazebos and things mm -hmm. to entertain the people. I added some more ground entertainment as well. So um, you can come and enjoy that and then go to the music hall and sit down and relax and enjoy the concert and still get home before dark, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. I really yeah. think you can. And I think that's a good idea. It don't get dark, you know, till <coughs> 9 or 10 o'clock, and the show will be over by then, so. Mm -hmm. I think it'll still work out. And if it don't work out, we'll change it next year to a different right, time. Right, right. You don't know till you try She's something. She's the boss, and she has the right to do that. So <laughs> I know yeah, how she operates. You have she to tries figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, what about the car show? Tell me what's going on with the car show. Well, we have uh, we had our car show in the spring, the Memory Lane Classic Car Show. Mm -hmm was a great show and we're going to have that again next year and um, make plans and we usually have a concert on that night but we have another car show coming up in September it's called the Shelby Mustang and Ford Meet mm -hmm. that comes up September the 23rd and 24th so there'll be about 300 cars there for that and they'll have vendors and all kinds of things set up and so it's, it's a fun event to come out and see that too some mm -hmm. really nice cars so yep, yep, that's yep. coming up in September <coughs> but um, we also have um, Right after the fair, we have a rodeo. It's called the Hawassi Pro Rodeo. I see that. Yep. It's Labor Day weekend, <coughs> and that's yep. September the third and fourth. Those tickets are on sale now on our website. It's twenty dollars for adults and fifteen for uh, children from six to twelve, and then a five and under is free. Mm -hmm. That's going to be. There is such a demand for us to have a rodeo there in Hawassi. The one we have in the spring is at Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. It's huge, and people mm -hmm. say, "Hell, to have another." So that's what so we're trying it. to do. Yeah, yes, yeah, so yeah. we're bringing one back Labor Day weekend. So come out and enjoy that. Get your tickets online now, or you can buy them at the gate either one. And then we have the Daily Events American Made Festival coming up in September. This is a three-day event, September the 15th, 16th, and 17th. And when you look at the lineup to this, and and you will see our the commercial and in, in our commercial we're going to run. But this is this is a big to do. It is a big deal. It really, truly is. And Ricky Skaggs, he's going to do his 
he's bringing his whole band, but he's going to do a country and bluegrass favorites. He's going to do some of both. He got Lone Star, Craig Morgan. Craig Morgan hadn't been there in a long, long time, so I think he's going to be really good too. And Daly and Vincent's always good. Mm -hmm. Riders in the Sky, Bradley Walker, the Primitive Quartet, and the U.S. Navy Band. I think that's going to be awesome to see. Mm -hmm. They're going to be there, I think, all three days. And then the Singing Contractors, they were there last year, and they're amazing too. So mm -hmm. you can buy a three-day ticket or you can get a uh, one-day ticket, you know, or if you want to get all three days, you can just come stay Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and have a fun time there at the campground. And then something new that we're doing this year with Daly and Vincent is this uh, Daly and Vincent Christmas Fest. This is two, December the 2nd and 3rd, and we've got this Roots and Boots package. That's Aaron Tippin, Colin Ray, and Sammy Kershaw. Oh, wow. We had them there in concert last year, and you talk about a good concert. Aaron now. Tippin was one of my favorite interviews. Such a nice, oh, nice guy. Oh, he's a great guy. Nice guy. But all three of them are going to be back with that package. And then we've got Rhonda Vincent, which is Darren's sister. She's mm -hmm. going to be performing. And... Daly and Vincent and the Isaacs and the Hoppers. And this will be some, uh, well, it's a, like I said, it's a Christmas fest. So we'll have uh, Christmas music one day and country music and bluegrass. A lot of it just all kind of mm -hmm. mixed in together. Mm -hmm. So, and then we'll have the Christmas light show, the Mountain Country Christmas and Lights, the Walk Through Christmas Lights. How um, many lights have you got now? You started got, with a small oh, amount. Oh, yes. We've this. got over a million lights and we're adding more this year. Oh, my gosh. And more displays. But this, if you buy tickets for this, then you get into the Christmas light show free. And that starts Thanksgiving night, so it's opening up soon. Yep. But this You is, know why this quilt's on here now? No. Fall's coming. I'm so oh, excited. Well, Fall's it coming. is. <laughs> it so is, excited. and I can't wait. <laughs> I can't either. Until it cools down a little bit. Yeah. We've got a lot coming up in October, too, as yeah, well. Yeah. But this is something new that we tried this year, and it went over well up at the mm -hmm. Hamilton Gardens. Mm -hmm. Acoustic. Uh, acoustic sunset concerts. Uh -huh. We did this the whole month of July, and everybody's saying, please, don't stop it, don't stop it. Every Thursday night, it's free concert. Mm -hmm. We have food trucks up there and vendors set up, and bring your lawn chair and see the sunset. It's absolutely beautiful up there. And how do you know who, what musicians are going to be there? Well, it's on this uh, right here. It's okay. this, uh, the Merce on September the 1st. See so uh -huh. down through there, Trailer Hippies, uh, Lee Edwards, Claire Kelly, and Alicia Stockman. It's hosted by White Esplan, but this is amazing to come up there. And so this is going to start September the 1st. It's every Thursday night in September, except September the 15th when I got the Daily and Vincent Land Fest going on. Mm -hmm. But then we'll have the first Thursday in October, which is October the 6th. So I want you to come out and enjoy that and, and enjoy the gardens up there too and take a stroll through and the gardens. And you do see the sunsets. Yes, yes. and you can see Brasstown Ball from up yeah. there in the mountains. Yeah. It, have you ever been up there and seen that? I have not. I you have need not. to go up there yeah, and see yeah, that. It is yeah. beautiful. You've got beautiful nature trails mm. to walk through and you have a picnic up there. It's just wonderful. But uh, we have a lot of other events coming up. Like I said, Mark Chestnut and Tracy Bird is coming up during the uh, fair. And then we have uh, the Fall Festival in October, October the 7th through the 15th. Got some great entertainment coming up for that. Um, you got the Oak Ridge Boys. That's a hard ticket coming up October. That is so funny. The Oak Ridge Boys are still around. <laughs> the Oak Ridge Boys are still around. And I don't yeah. think they're going to be touring too much longer, wow. you know, because they've already talked about, you know, kind of retiring. Not, and they've been on the road a long time, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's the Oak Ridge Boys. It's called the Front Porch Singing Tour. And the, uh, they've done so like 2,200 tickets for this show. And it's not to October. Gene Watson, then. one of my favorites, is going to be there. I know. Yeah. He's, he's awesome, isn't he? I love Gene yeah, Watson. Yeah, yeah, and he's, Aaron. Yeah. yeah. And we got the Bellamy Brothers. We've been getting a lot of calls about the Bellamy Brothers. And Mark Wills, he's going to be during the Fall mm -hmm. Festival. He's, he's going to be there. Such a good guy. Such Friday, a good guy. October the 14th. But then Ashley McBride, that's a new upcoming artist. Mm -hmm. She was there several years ago and opened for Dwight Yoakam. And nobody knew who she was. Just an opening act just all by herself. And everybody said, oh, my gosh, what a voice, what a voice. And look where she's at now. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. went from getting $500 that night to $60,000. <laughs> That's Very quickly. Difference. That's a big difference. <laughs> so she's going to be there on Saturday, October the 15th, and she sold over 2,000 tickets. So wow. I definitely recommend getting some tickets um, if you wow. want to see it. Yes. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> well, we're going to take a commercial break right quick, and um, <clears throat> in that commercial break, I need to have a chat with somebody in the audio. So if you don't mind, can we take a commercial break, and y'all pay attention to the Daily and Vincent Land Fest. Tickets are on sale right now. Yes. Pick up the phone and call, three day or one day, right? Yes. There uh -huh. you go. All right, here we go.
whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? The American Made Music Festival returns to Hiawassee, Georgia, September 15th through 17th. This three day festival features the best of country, bluegrass, and gospel music, including special guests Craig Morgan, Lone Star, Ricky Skaggs, and Kentucky Thunder, Daly and Vincent. Stars and Stripes Forever America. Three day and single day tickets available, along with on site camping by the lake. The American Made Music Festivals with Daly and Vincent, presented by Gus Arendale and Springer Mountain Farms. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Okay, we're going to take you now to a song that I think you will love. It is called Welcome to Ella J. And we keep telling you business owners, when people come in your business, you should be playing this amazing song because it, it is peppy, it is happy, and it makes people feel good. So we're going to go now to a little bit of music and um, a little bit of memories. You will hear a lot of memories in this song. And you will hear about some cars that I really, really love. There's something about the mountains, the music, the cars, and gosh, the memories that you create. And that's what Ella J is about. We say it often, if you've only been to the downtown area, you do not know Ella J. Get out and ride the back roads and ride the back roads with a CD in your car that says, welcome to Ella J. Here we go. Now, are we gonna get off now? Welcome to Ella J. That's what? with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Ella J. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette, Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get if you come to Ella J. Hey, Ella J, a mighty fine place to be. Ella J, Ella J, good enough for you and me. Yeah. Apple blossom, baby possum, muscadine wine. Leave all your troubles at the welcome. A town called Ella J. 
the sun goes down You can drive through and hear the happy sounds Of the folks in Emma J Now way back in the summer of 73 The Red Dot parking lot was the place to be But you could get more than what you bargained for Back in those days in Ella J. Yeah, you could. <laughs> Ella J. A mighty fine place to be. Ella J. Good enough for you and me. Yeah. 69 Road Runner Charger RT. Pistol grip four speed 380.
was music from Mr. Ella J himself, Dwight Sanford. And if y'all were lucky, he'd be here sitting here with us, but we're just going to talk because he's in the audio booth. We're trying to, we have a little problem with the monitor and it drives me crazy because I like for things to be right. And I don't know, we can't figure it out. We don't right. know if it's got a glitch, if it, I, we don't know what's Well, going I can on. certainly sympathize with you because when we have problems with the system at the fairgrounds and you got a concert going on, it's not a good feeling. You're no. running all over the place trying to get it figured yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, you said that y'all just really upgraded and invested and you have new sound and you have new audio video and then you have new seating. Um, what else is going to happen at the fairgrounds? How else can you grow? What well, else can you do? There's uh, uh, several things that we could do. We, we could definitely build more campsites, which would increase our revenue some. Mm -hmm. We would like to widen. Do you have the space for it? We've got some an area there uh, that we can put some more campsites mm -hmm. on, yes. We would like to take Area 1 campground, which is across the highway from the fairgrounds. It's an old campground that we've had for gosh the county used to run it and we took mm -hmm. it over from the county but that whole thing just needs to be completely renovated and it would talk, cost a lot of money to go in there and put all there's 90 I think 92 campsites over there but you would need to go in and put all new electrical lines in and water mm -hmm. and and it doesn't have sewer and that's something that needs to be put in over there there's a dump station over there mm -hmm. we have sewer across the road and people want the sewer hookup when they come right, out right but we always stayed right down there by the lake and it was so beautiful yes so it's, beautiful. it is beautiful it really is but we'd like to widen the uh, park in there for the boat ramp if there's something we could do there uh, and we also want to get some we'd love to have the parking lot paved that's something else that we'd like to do we've talked about for many years but we just don't have the funds you know to do mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. and like I said we're a nonprofit organization a 501 c3 so you can do a little bit at a time, but you can't just go out and do everything you want to do. You right, know? right. But as time goes on, hopefully we'll be able to do some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, there's just, you know, things that, that can be done. Uh, we've talked about a lot of different things there, and, but we're thankful for what we've got and what we've accomplished over the years. When we started out building the fairgrounds, that was just a big old pine thicket there. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we got a lease from the TVA and got that property. And so uh, we had an engineer that was from Towns County that uh, was hired on as the civil engineer when the project started and we got a lot of grant money to help build the fairgrounds but we also had to match a lot of that money I and mean, sometimes we'd have to put in 20 percent sometimes we'd have to put in 50 percent mm -hmm. sometimes it'd be 100 percent that the that they would fund and we wouldn't have to match any but it was a long time building we started there I think we started this uh, construction in 73 and then we moved down there in 1978 was the first uh, fair we had down there. We didn't actually have the building built. We just used a tent. Mm -hmm. The next year we got the roof put on and then that, after that then we got the you know the music hall completed but mm -hmm. it's been a wonderful thing to have in our county and like I said the whole North Georgia area has benefited from what we've done there. Well and the idea that you've been able to maintain a decent twelve dollars to get in the gate. Absolutely. You know I mean you that's can't go a miracle. Nowhere. You can't no. go nowhere for twelve dollars. No, no. Some of these acts. You can't we... hardly get a happy meal in no. the drive through somewhere for twelve dollars. You can't. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Especially yeah. the way the inflation's been and the price is going up but these some of these acts are like twenty thousand dollars, twenty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. You can't go nowhere to see that kind of t talent for twelve dollars. So, mm -mm. Mm -mm. you know, we have masses of people that come in to help offset this cost. So, we are, are very thankful that people like what we do and they want to be entertained and we want mm -hmm. to entertain them and we want people to go away with a big smile on their face saying they've been to right. the fair and how much they enjoyed right. it and we want them to come back. So, yeah, yeah. it's a great thing. It really is. Well, and one of the cool things about <laughs> Leave your cares behind. Can I tell her the line that you wrote the song? He's we got, we got somebody offset that won't come on today because he's busy. He's helping with the audio. Can can you tell me the line about the traffic? Do you remember that line? No. No. It it is so funny because he he said somebody commissioned him to write this song and he said, I I and, and, and well the next morning the song was done. And so there's a line about leaving the traffic behind and I said, oh my God, that's perfect because when you leave Atlanta, and I've said it, I'm guilty of this, you leave Atlanta and you're just driving and the closer you get to the mountains, the faster you drive. Do you know why? Because <laughs> you can't wait to get there. You breathe that good cool hour to you, that, that too. You're breathing that through. air, you're seeing those smiling faces, you're looking at people that are, hey, howdy, yes. they're not throwing rocks at you, they're not shooting at That's you. That's right. They are welcoming you. Absolutely. And it's like, welcome to Ella J, welcome to Blairsville, welcome to Hiawassee. We are that's what these communities are about. It's true. It's very, yeah. very friendly. And, and I heard so many people say, you know, 
there in Hiawassee, you don't even lock your door at home or you don't lock your camper or you don't do this or you don't do that. It's just like everybody's so trustworthy and mm -hmm. you have very, very little crime. And so it's it's a very safe place to be. Yeah, and, sure and it is. People love each other and they help each other and mm -hmm. try to do things to make people happy. I think that's what we should do is love more and help people and that's what God expects us to do is right. to, to try right. to help each other. Right. He, he did a song a week or so ago and it was, um, I'd like to teach the world to sing it so, and build homes. It, it was just, and he's been singing it all of his life and I said, that's the anthem we need for America today. We just need to be nice. We be do. Nice and to it's, not, it's not hard to be nice. I'd rather no. be nice than be mean. Yeah. I don't like to be around mean people and people that want to be complaining all the time or something's wrong all the time. I'm a happy person. My sister always said I was born happy, but I'm just <laughs> that way. I really yeah, am. Yeah, and I love yeah. that in life. I really do. And I think God wants us to be that way. Yeah, so yeah, try, to, try to do all you can for mankind. <laughs> That's it. Well, this weekend we went out and we just took a road, a trip, just a, about a mile and a half on a dirt road. And I said, oh, and so I put in the music and I played it and, and we're riding down through there and I'm looking and I'm just like, how many people don't get off the beaten path? They, they stay on 515. And we always say, get on the back roads, yes. get on the back roads. I've been on some of Hiawassee's back roads. Y'all have got some cool back roads. We do. I actually came a back road this morning when I live up on Owl Creek and it comes up by uh, 180 up across by uh, Brasstown Ball mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. goes over into Union County on Highway 180. I, I went that route this morning, and you talk about beautiful. Beautiful. When I yeah. came to the top there, where you turn up to 180 spur up to Brass Hill mm -hmm. Mile, it was 68 degrees right there when I crossed wow. over the top there this morning. I thought, how nice. It's so oh, beautiful. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, yeah. just absolutely gorgeous. No traffic, and no, it's just peaceful. I loved mm -hmm. it. Well, that's one of the things I hope that when people come to visit, they don't settle in to just sitting at the campsite. I hope that they will get out and learn a little bit about the they community. They do. Yeah. I think they do because they come there to the office and they want brochures and they ask you questions. What are they to do here? And you give them all kinds of information to go to the vineyards or go here, go where, go rent a boat, go out on mm -hmm. the lake for mm -hmm. a few hours. Uh, here's some nice places to go have dinner and just things, waterfalls, hiking. Some people like to go out. Bell Mountain, that's a big visitors area. So, mm -hmm. You know, people go there to see that, Brasstown Ball. Um, just a lot of the state parks are close by and you send them mm -hmm. there. They love mm -hmm. going to see that too. So yeah, you know, there's and, a lot to do. And when we think about um, the cost, $12. Okay, now didn't you tell me it's $800 a month to stay the whole month at the campsite? It's $850 now. It $850. To be 800, but okay. it's $850. That's full hookup mm -hmm. for a whole month. That's very cheap. <laughs> right on the water. Mm -hmm. you got a whole mm -hmm. lakefront there yeah, yeah. Uh, to enjoy. So yeah. That's... But to get one of those spots, you have to literally call in November. November. The first working day in November, we start taking reservations for the next year if you want to stay a month or more. Mm -hmm. And we have five lines ringing, but it takes all day for people to get through. It's how busy it is. You just have to be patient and keep wow. calling back. But we've tried it everywhere in the world. We've, we used to take it by person, by phone, or you know, you could uh, come there, whatever. But they get in line out there a week before camping reservations even started. And oh they would gosh. camp in the parking lot, and then they'd get in the fight, and I had to call the law down there one time. <laughs> and they, oh my gosh, I could tell you some stories. <laughs> so I had to stop. We need to drive a back road trip with you and let you tell some stories. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you some. Oh. So I, I thought, in order to be fair to everybody, and I don't have fights out here and have to call the sheriff down here, we'll just take everything by phone and let everybody just call in in that way. Mm -hmm. Whoever gets through If you get it, you get it. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I don't, I mean, I've wow. tried everything. Every time I would try to change the system to make it a little more accommodating to the people, they would figure out a way to beat the system before I even got started. Oh, so, no. I mean, it's just been crazy. And I'm proud that we've got that kind of business, that people want to come that bad. But uh, most of the time, if everybody will just, just be patient, everybody can't be on the water, but you, most of the time everybody mm -hmm. can get a campsite mm -hmm. if they just are patient enough to keep calling back. But um, I wish I had more water sites, but I don't. And mm -hmm. You can still walk down to the water even though you're not right on it. Uh, the whole area is beautiful. There's not a bad site there. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's, it is. It's absolutely beautiful. And you can camp there and walk over to the music hall mm -hmm. to the events and things. Mm -hmm. So that makes it nice too. <laughs> well, I'm going to send out a warning to everybody who's going to be playing trivia tonight on Facebook because we're about to do another song. And this is just a song that, uh, and he'll probably choke me, but anyway, God, I, if y'all come in and I got black streaks on my neck, you'll know why. <clears throat> we have fun and we get things done. That's his saying, not mine. He gets things done and I just kind of have fun. But 
it is about just enjoying life. Absolutely. Just enjoying life, whether a simple night of a camp out, a simple night of, of riding the back roads, a simple night of sitting by a creek. It's easy to just enjoy life. It is. It really is, and it's just a simple way. And it's because that's what we do in these mountains. Absolutely. That's what we do. Build you a big campfire. That's it. That's it. And a bunch of marshmallows and get them really black because that's how I like them. So, yeah, yeah. But we're going to go back. You asked about <clears throat> when we were showing the uh, Welcome to LJ, and you asked about that 57 Ford. Well, we're going to take you now to a song he did, and it's on a Pumpkin Center CD. He grew up here in LJ. Everybody else who comes in here doesn't know the history, doesn't know that. And so I love listening to those old stories. At the Georgia Mountain Fair, you need to have somebody telling stories about the old-timey cannon, the old-timey plowing with your mules. So that would be really cool. We used to have a lady here, her name was Ann Parks, and she would sit in a rocking chair and just tell the old-timey stories. Yes. And it was so cool. Yes, that's very, very special. <coughs> I, that's a great idea. We have a lot of people doing the demonstrations up there in Pioneer Village. Mm -hmm. uh, with Just the, the memories. Yeah, you know? with the board splitting and the moonshine making and the blacksmithing. And they tell about that one specific thing. But getting somebody to just sit there and talk tell to people. Tell stories. That yeah. would be great. Yeah, yeah. Yes, well, well, and he can tell stories about fast driving because he knows a lot about it. And he knows a lot of guys who fast drove. And I know a lot of guys who had 351 Clevelands, had uh, those great 396 engines. That's what we love in these mountains. And those stories, we need to capture those. Absolutely. You know, that's something that needs to be put on video and saved. But right now, we're going to go to Mr. LJ sitting over here one day with just his guitar and just doing a song. And um, it was one of those just, eh, just do whatever you want to. And he did. So here you go. Here's your one off of Pumpkin Center, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Put your hand in mine 
Well, that is Mr. Ella J. And Mr. Ella J got the name because Sherry Martin had never heard his song, and Sherry Martin jumped in his 57 Ford to do a parade, and he's we're driving along talking, and he said, so you've heard my song? And I said, no, well, I have now, <laughs> and you have too. And, you know, it's about these mountains, Hilda. It's about feeling good. It's about, oh, man, just relax. Just it change is. change the way you look at life. Absolutely. You t Like you said, the simple things can make you happy. And yeah. uh, being outdoors at a campsite or something with a big fire going and just relaxing, looking overlooking the lake and yeah. the beautiful sunsets. It's easy. It's very it's easy. easy. And it it's makes easy. you feel good. Yeah. It makes yeah. you happy. Or it does me. You know, I feel sorry for the folks who come up here. We're lucky enough to live in the areas that, that we serve from Ball Ground to Turtle Town. And we have amazing communities. Amazing communities. And all of them are filled with a good spirit. Just a good spirit. Absolutely. Yeah. But don't you feel sorry for those people who come up here, stay four days, and then you see them headed back yonder way? I They're know. going back to Atlanta because they ain't got no better sense. And you know, <laughs> I, I hear so many people that come up here for a weekend and they'll say, everybody's so nice up here. They're not used to that kind of treatment, yes, you know. Yes. And I just say, well, it's just our natural way of living every yeah, day. We don't yeah. know anything any different. But I, working at the fairgrounds, I have met thousands and thousands and thousands of people over the years. And I mean a lot of people and a lot of nice people, but I hear that so often mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is this is God's country yeah. and, and everybody's yeah. so nice and you're just so blessed to live here. Mm -hmm. And we are blessed and we a lot are. of times we take it for granted, I guess, but it is a great place to live. It right. really is, the whole North Georgia mountains. Well, as a realtor, I take a lot of heat because I'm making communities grow because I sell stuff and then people will get angry with me that I've sold a bunch of stuff because you keep bringing in people. Well, yeah, yes. they didn't shut the gates when y'all got here. You know, yes, and I hear welcome that. to Ella J. Welcome to Fall Ground. Welcome to Jasper. Yes. Come and, on. And I hear that a lot too about the Georgia Mountain Fair because people that we bring in to the fairgrounds, a lot of times they come there because of the fair. Well, then they like the place so well. They buy something. They go out and buy real estate. Yes, so yes. That, and they say, well, that old fair just brings in people in. But that's not the case. I'm welcome them there. Like you say, sure. I'm happy they're there. I, I love growth, but I love it in the right way. But right. I think it's great that we... Planned growth. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I think it's great that we have it. I really do. Yeah. It, they've helped contribute to the economy a lot. Absolutely. Sure. Well, my mayor, and I love my mayor in Ball Ground, he says if a community doesn't grow, it dies. And that is the most live, real, forever true statement in the world. If you don't grow, you die. That's very, very because true. Because eventually all us old folks, and as old geezers as I call my old buddies, they're going to die off, and then there's going to be nobody here to take over. That's true. And you've how, got to have somebody you've to got make to have you growth. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, yes. absolutely. Well, we're going to do one more song by Mr. Dwight Sanford, and I will tell you why I chose this one. When he was in the seventh grade, he was bashful, and he was a little bit backward, but a teacher asked him to sing in front of the whole seventh grade class. And he did my favorite Charlie Pride song. Oh, I so love we're going to do this. We, I knew you loved Charlie Pride, so I chose this one for the end. All I have to offer you is me, and this is this is one of those songs. Imagine being a bashful, backward little boy from Pumpkin Center, standing in front of the whole school, the whole class, the whole auditorium full, and doing this song. And I think one of his friends was there with him, if I remember the story right. But here we go to All I Have to Offer You Is Me, made famous by our buddy, our dear friend, and uh, gone but never forgotten, Charlie Pride. Hello, folks. Mr. Ella J here, Dwight Sanders. In 1969, I sang in front of the whole gymnasium up there, the old gym we used to have, for the seventh grade hour, rather, seventh grade graduation. Miss Marie Ho put me out there in front of everybody, and the place was packed full of students and moms and dads and aunts and uncles. If you were there that night, come in. If you weren't there that night, then I'd like for you to comment. And it's called All I Have to Offer You Is Me. It's one of the very first songs I ever learned. Before you take another step, there's something you should know about. Hardly 
Tonight is Trivia Night. You better remember the three songs that Mr. L.J. sang today because guess what the trivia questions are? Ding dong. You better remember them or you better rewatch the show because it will re-air again tonight at 6 o'clock. Please don't forget the Georgia Mountain Fair opens on August the 19th. Yes, August the 19th through the 27th. And go to our website, georgiamountainfairgrounds.com, for all the information, or you can call us on, at 706-896-4191 for information. It is going to be so much fun, and maybe the temperatures will drop just a little bit. That would be really, really cool. You know, when we look at what you, 41 years, loving your job, there's no doubt in my mind how much you love your job how many blessings you have brought to other people because I've seen the bus loads of those older people there on Gospel Day. Yes. I've seen the bus loads of those special needs folks who come and get to go and tour the, it's just amazing in the Christmas lights. I know. You know, it Hilda, is. you've done so much. Thank you for what you well, do. Thank you. Thank you thank for, you for having do. me on the show. Thank you so much. Well, we're going to end today with a little bit of gospel music because, you know, there's something about these mountains. I'm so glad that you include a gospel day at the fair. Yes. Because that's always my favorite. Dr. Jerry Goff was my I favorite know. pastor. He wonderful? Miss him so much. Miss I him miss so him much. a lot, too. He was there for 50 years there at the fairgrounds. Yeah, yeah. I was there his last sermon, and was I just, really? yeah, absolutely, such a wonderful, wonderful he man. Was. But you've brought such, such amazing stuff and talent, and you continue to do that. And y'all get on her website, check it out, go to her Facebook page. And tonight on Facebook, tonight and tomorrow night, I'm going to be giving away tickets, but you better pay attention. You better remember the songs that Mr. Ella J did. Uh, I hope you do because you're going to win $48 worth of tickets to take you and friends to the Georgia Mountain Fair. Again, it opens on August the 19th. Hilda, thank you for being here today. Thank you for We're going to leave now with a little bit of music, just a little gospel music. Sit down, set the tone for your day, fix you a quick lunch, and go out and take a drive on the back roads. I guarantee you, you will come back feeling refreshed, feeling happy, and saying, whoa, am I blessed to live in these mountains. Absolutely. Yay. Yes. We'll see you again soon. Here we go.
ago in days of childhood I used to play till the evening sun would come Then wandering down an old familiar pathway I could hear my mother call at set of sun Time. The shadow 